They were high-profile appointments by uh, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe just six weeks ago when he named five women to his cabinet to much fanfare. This was part of his campaign to get more women into the top echelons of Japanese politics and Japanese society. Here we are six weeks later, two out of the five now resigning. And, you know, this may not be the end of it. And just tell us why they've had to step down. So the, the allegations against them are b both financial, with Yuko Obuchi, uh, the uh, trade industry minister, uh, her campaign staff were accused of using large amounts of money, tens of thousands of dollars of campaign funds for buying gifts uh, and for paying for constituents to go to the theatre uh, here in Tokyo. Uh, now, these are pretty serious allegations against her. They could lead to criminal uh, charges against her. Uh, this, this is very much an ongoing investigation, so pretty serious against her. Against uh, Midori Matsushima, she's accused of handing out fans uh, at campaign rallies with her picture and campaign uh, slogans on it. Now, this is a much more minor offence, but apparently uh, it's well known that you're not allowed to do this sort of thing. She is the Justice Minister, and so when this allegation arose, she had to step down, but it's a much, much more minor offence.